Good morning, Riverside Congregation. I hope and pray everyone is doing well during these stressful times. I never dreamed the first prayer I would lead as an elder would be to speak in front of a camera instead of the church. I look forward to the day we're all back together worshiping our God in spirit and in truth. I want to thank each member for putting their faith in me to serve as your shepherd. I will always try to be available to help you in any way that I can. I ask only one thing. Please continue to pray for the elders individually and as a group. I recently heard a person use a saying that struck me. He said we should all trust and adjust. That is, we should trust God during these times and lean on him to help us adjust to the change of circumstances in our lives. Would you all pray with me? Our gracious and holy Heavenly Father, we come before you thanking you for this creation. We thank you for the Bible, this revelation to help us understand your will. We're thankful for Jesus, for his life, for examples, and most importantly, for the church that Jesus built. We're thankful for this church here in Kerrville, and we're thankful for each member. And dear Lord, we're thankful that we have this joy of fellowship with each other. Dear Lord, we're also so thankful that we're able to trust you and be able to put our worries and cares in your hands. Our Father, we pray for the victims of this virus. We pray for the families, and we also pray for the healthcare workers. In addition, we know that there are victims of this virus due to lost jobs. There's loneliness and there's stress. And dear Lord, we pray that you comfort them in only the way you know how to comfort them. Our Father, we have those that are sick in our congregation. We have people that are shut in. We have people with a lot of special needs. And we pray that you be with each one of them. We pray as our congregation that we recognize and see their needs and help them in any way that we can. Our Father, we pray for the leaders of our country. We pray for our president, we pray for our governor, and we pray for the local officials. Each one of them, we pray that you give them wisdom in making many of these difficult decisions in the days and months to come. Our Father, as we're sitting and quarantined, we have time on our hands and we pray that during this time we will examine ourselves we will look to see how sin can destroy us spiritually. And then we will look for ways to change our lives. We will look for ways to overcome the temptations that we face. And we pray that, that we will overcome these temptations and that you will help us to do this. Today we know we fail you and we pray that you will forgive us of the sins that we commit. And we pray that we'll always look for you for answers in our lives. Lord, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. And we love you so much. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. I hope and pray that each one of the members of the Kerrville congregation has a great and wonderful week. Thank you.